Hey everybody, welcome back to Love Thy Vape. Today I'm going to be showing you my dark horse that I got recently today. There it is, dark horse is written on the side there. I'm just going to get this out and show you guys what it's all about. It comes in multiple pieces. Let me just get this out for you. So here it is. Uh, also comes with a smaller mouthpiece if you're down with that. I like this thing. Look, just just look down there. You, you, mm, nah, gone. That's lovely. It's nice. It's plastic. It feels great on the lips. Uh, it basically comes in five parts. That's one part. This tiny ring here, if you can see there, that's another part. This ring, that's your airflow ring. That comes off. And then uh, let me just stick it on the device here, and I'll show you all its pieces. All its pieces. So once again, yeah, it's a 510 connection, fits on pretty much every single box, neck, you name it, basically fits all on there. Um, so there it is, don't, don't that just look absolutely beautiful? Lovely. Yeah, so let's take it apart whilst it's on here, and then I ain't got a faff about with fiddly bits. Five parts, you got the top ring, the mouthpiece, and then you got your airflow ring, and you know you can revolve that um, from what I hear there's 64 different airflow options with this it sounds ridiculous why would you need 64 different options I've heard of, of bigger would you believe um, anyway I'll just show you this this is probably why it has 64 different airflow options so we've got this bare bit here just for that extra variance of option but as you can see it just goes round and round and round and round. So basically, you've got two massive holes and you've got three slightly not so big holes. I could say six not so big holes if you like. But like that's that's why there's variance in, in how many airflow options you can have, 64. And if I'm right, and I'll, I'll, just, I'll just go through quickly if I can see what I'm showing you. So technically, this one and the opposite opposing side if that's open on the big big holes that's technically one option twist it round slightly well, this side's closed but the opposite side's open that's the second option twist it round again two medium air flows so this side and the opposite side's open and then twist it around again uh, and we're back to two massive air flows again i'm sure there's one more yeah it's just the opposite side the airflow. So I don't know how many that was. And then you can turn this over as well. Yeah. And you start again. And if you can see there. So I've turned this ring over completely. And it's just cut off a little bit. Can you see that? I'm hoping you can see that. Where it's not completely all the way around. Yeah. It's like halfway almost. Yeah. So once again, that's that again. And then of course, you can just get rid of the ring. And have all that airflow if you really wanted. To be fair, that's not quite 64. I'm sure there's other ways of doing it. I just don't know them. That's that's all I can see as options as airflow. So <laughs> I don't know where 64 options of airflow came from, but I can imagine it's possibly something to do with the chuff cap and you know your drip tip. So that's that. I'm gonna quickly just wiggle this off so you can actually see the deck itself. I cannot for the life of me. Uh, you know, just just pop it off. It needs a bit of a wiggle. The O-rings are new. Like I say, it's all new, and it's nice and tight. It ain't gonna come off in your pocket. It's lovely. Three posts, massive, massive holes. I wish I didn't have a build in here because I'd show you how big the holes are. They, uh, if I can squeeze some cotton out of the way, they they they're huge. You can fit a scaffolding pole in there. They they they're just massive. Any build can go in this. The wells are lovely and they're not, not super deep, but they're quite deep. They're, they're a nice depth. Um, I don't know if you can see what I've uh, put a build in here. My camera, obviously, on my laptop is rubbish. Basically, this is a twisted ribbon wire. Yep, just two strands of ribbon wire twisted together as best I can. I twisted them by hand, to be fair. Didn't have a drill at hand uh, whilst in the vape shop today. And just standard ribbon wire on its own parallel. So twisted ribbon, twisted ribbon, twisted ribbon. About six wraps, yeah? Dual coil, of course. 
and the deck, like I say, it's 510 connection, so it fits on all your devices. Oh, that's nice and tight on there. So let, let's just see at the bottom here because I ain't showed you guys the bottom. I don't think, yeah, I think you may be able to adjust that. It's got a little screw head in there, but look at the bottom there. It's nice and shiny. It's got all this uh, uh, print and stuff on there, loads of information. Love it. I can't, to be truthfully, yeah, like pros and cons, it's all pros. You know, like. Screw heads are lovely and big, so you can wrap your coils around the top of there if you want and bear down on them instead of sticking them through the holes. The holes are massive, so you can put big builds in there. You don't have to worry about gauge. Wells, the, the, the deck wells are deep. They're deep enough. Just stuff loads of cotton in there. You know, whatever you want. O-rings. The O-rings, they look good. On my plume veil, they get breaking. And the plume fell wasn't too difficult to take off, even with all the O-rings. This has got two O-rings, and it's nice and firm. You know, I have, I, I kind of, <laughs> I do have to get to a bit of pressure on that, yeah, just to get that on. You know, so I think you know that's great. It's not going to pop off in your pocket. You ain't going to lose any bits. Ah, actually, I found a con, but it's just a small, tiny con. And, you know, it could be just due to me, I don't know. But the top ring, that with the chuff cap on, I've noticed that sometimes, it, it just, just once, just once today, it unscrewed in my pocket. Uh, and I was like, uh, uh, what's going on? So, that's that's one thing that I've just, just found, basically, could have happened to anyone. Could have not happened at all, who knows, like... Might be me not just tighten it on tight enough. Might just be. So yeah, just make sure that it's nice and hand tight. Um, another yeah, slight con. This might just be me. But if your top ring isn't tight enough, your airflow holes will move. If it's tight enough, they won't move. So you want it tight enough so they don't move whilst in your pocket, travelling, whatever. So that is basically that. I'm gonna have to show you how it does. I'm vaping at 60 watts. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh. So I'm vaping at 60 watts, four ohms. I've got 50% battery life because I've been caning it. Stick some juice in here. See how she goes. Wow, we. I think it's down to the build that I've put in here. So much flavour. It's probably all the crevice of the twisted, twisted uh, ribbon wire, and the ribbon wire itself. You know, parallel. Super, super flavour. Production wise, that is wicked. That is is brilliant. I cannot fault that. That is absolutely so, so good. You should you should see the cloud that it's 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 produced over off screen here. Um, is <laughs> that is ooh almost a kick in the teeth. I'm basically vaping on a mixture of four liquids I bought from the shop. I like bought four liquids and just mixed them together. Um, they're all Zeus juice, so it's fruity, it's bananary, it's mentholy, it's <laughs> it's nice. It's a weird weird combination, but it's still nice. I thoroughly enjoy that. Right, just a quickie as well. I've dropped my box. See that massive, massive chunk? I dropped my box. I did not have my silicone sleeve on. If you've got one of these, keep your silicone sleeve on. I don't have it now because there's no point. I've already dropped it. I'm not going to drop it again. But I have dropped it. It's horrible to look at. Look what I've done to my beautiful box. Sigeli 100 watt plus is ruined in my opinion. You're not ruined, it still works, but <sighs> I need to be more careful. Let's just put it that way. Um, other than that, still love this thing. There's the dark horse. 
you've seen it vape. Um, my next step, uh, I'm gonna probably show you some coil builds in this. So if you guys have one of these and you know haven't built a coil in it yet because you don't know what one to go for, I'm gonna show you some interesting coils. I've got myself uh, 20, 28, 27, 24. Uh, I've got the 24 in stainless steel. Now I hear they're supposed to be better temperature, better tasting for flavor. Uh, they heat up quicker, cleaner metal, um, but you know that's that's for a different film, a uh, different video, um, and I'll talk a bit more about you know stainless steel wires and count four and how they're different in a different video. So keep your eyes out for that. Keep your eyes out for uh, up and coming tutorials on building in one of these, and also up and coming new tank from Aspire. And that is that.